Hi, I'm Dick Glover, Technical Director, and this is where we work. We've been in McLaren Technology Centre since 2003, and under one roof we've got three uh, world-class engineering companies, McLaren Racing, McLaren Electronics, and in the heart of the building, McLaren Automotive. We have a fantastic heritage of uh, technology and engineering excellence within this building, and McLaren Automotive is able to draw on that heritage and all of that technology to develop the world's best high-performance sports cars. This is our Formula One simulator. We've been developing the simulator for the last 12 years and it's now used extensively as part of the process within McLaren Racing. Before every Grand Prix, the drivers and engineers come to the simulator to develop the car and develop the race setup. We also use the simulator for developing the 12C and have done for many years. For more than a year before we ran the first test car, we were developing the vehicle dynamics in the simulator and that's really put us in a great place at this stage in the programme. Hi, I'm Chris Goodwin. I'm Chief Test Driver here at McLaren Automotive and I'm at the heart of the 12C development programme and have been since the car was a, a drawing on a piece of paper. We're right in the middle of a very extensive test programme and as you'd expect from a high performance sports car, we're taking in all of the usual race tracks and test circuits. We've been to the race track, the Nürburgring Nordschleife, and that's a, a great test for the car's durability, but it's high speed cornering performance. The Top Gear circuit at Dunsfold is a favourite of ours. It's got its own unique challenges and is very close to our base here in Woking. But uh, as well as an endless uh, range of public roads, motorways, B roads, bumpy and smooth, uh, we've also taken in a couple of very extreme areas as well. The Arctic Circle, we test uh, the car in sub-zero temperatures on snow and ice, uh, but we've also visited Bahrain and tested the car in super high temperatures, uh, both for performance and its ability to function in those very extreme desert temperatures. Hello, my name's Simon Andrew, Vehicle Development Engineer at McLaren Automotive. One of the most important things when we're away testing is the data that we retrieve from the vehicle. The key is to get this data out of the car as quickly as possible. Then we send it back to the McLaren Technology Centre where the engineers there can analyse the data to see how the car is running. And then we can make improvements and tune systems based on the data that they're looking at. This is a very, very high-tech car with some interesting technology under the skin. Um, and I work with a team of very experienced guys and they come from many different backgrounds, many from the world of motor racing. That's an experience that we try to have going throughout the company here. It was a very big decision for me to leave racing and join a road car project, but uh, there are many similarities and it's very exciting and challenging to be involved in a performance road car project. To complement that, we have a, a number of engineers and technicians from mainstream automotive. You sometimes have to step back and uh, to realise how lucky you are. Um, it's an awesome job, it's great fun. The 12C is a great opportunity for us here at McLaren, starting with a clean sheet of paper and a list of no compromise objectives and targets. It's been a huge mountain of work, but McLaren's way of doing things, harnessing the very latest technology, focusing on amazing attention to detail, will produce a market-leading car in this segment.